Welcome to Stories for Wonderful Children. I'm Dan Wendelin, and today marks our 50th episode of Stories for Wonderful Children. I'd like to thank you all so much for listening. I had several different ideas for a special story for today's episode, and I couldn't decide between them, so I just told them all. I hope you enjoy them. Once upon a time, there was a girl named June, and June was pretty happy. She lived with her mother and father, and she did a number of fun things with them. She liked to color, she loved to read books, and she loved to have her parents read books to her, and she loved to take walks, whether it was sunny, which was fun because you could watch the birds, or whether it was raining because it was fun to put on boots and stomp in mud puddles. But the one thing that June did not like was going to bed at night, because at night it was dark. And her mother and father went to bed too, and so June was lonely, because sometimes she didn't go to sleep right away. And so June told her mother and her father, she said, Mom, Dad, sometimes at night... I get lonely. And her mother and father said, well, we'll buy you a big stuffed animal. And so they went out to the toy store, stuffed animal shopping. And the first thing that they found was a giant stuffed bear. It came in three colors, blue and pink and bright fluorescent orange. It was soft and it was shaggy and her mother said, June, maybe you won't be lonely at night if you had a bear as big as you are. And June said, mmm. She sort of said, you know, I don't really like the blue, and I don't really like the pink, and I really don't like the orange, and I'm sorry, I just don't think a giant stuffed bear is quite right. And so they looked a little more, and they found the giant stuffed snakes, and they weren't big and cuddly, but they were long and soft, and they came in a number of colors, and her parents said, look, maybe a snake, and June said, snakes are very nice to look at, and they are very long, and they are very soft, she said, reaching out her hand and petting the fuzzy surface of the stuffed snake, but she said, they're just not right if you're lonely at night, and so They went down the stuffed animal aisle, and one by one, June decided that she did not want a giant stuffed dolphin, or a giant stuffed panda, or a giant stuffed manatee, or a giant stuffed unicorn, or a giant stuffed river otter, or even a giant stuffed hydra, which her parents had not really considered as a viable option. But June did think about for a few minutes, because a nine-headed stuffed animal, I mean, it's got to tempt you a little bit, right? But she got to the end of the aisle, and nothing had seemed quite right. Nothing had seemed like a companion that would keep her from being lonely at night when the lights were out, and it was dark. And so they had left the toy store. And as they had left the toy store, June had looked at the store next door and said, Can we go in there? And her parents had looked at each other, and they'd said, Well maybe for just a minute. And so they had gone into the pet store, and they had walked past the fish tanks and the rat cages to the back where there was a sign saying, Animals for Adoption. And they had cages of cats and kittens that were cute and furry, but they dashed around so quickly, and they were such little balls of fun, that June thought that they would be fun to play with but that they might keep her awake at night. And then there were puppies, and the puppies were cute, so cute. Little balls of fur with short little stubby tails, and they sort of had paws that were just a little too big for their little warm bodies. And June held one puppy and then another puppy, and the puppies licked her face, and she thought, these are wonderful. But then she looked at the biggest cage, where there was a dog, 
a dog that was kind of old, and just sort of lay there, looking at her. And June thought that this dog, with its long, shaggy red hair, looked kind. And she walked up, and she carefully read the sign that said, Good with Children. And she looked at her parents, and she said, Can we let this dog out of the cage? And the person from the Humane Society let the dog out of the cage, and June sat down, and the dog walked over to her very calmly, and then sat down, and then laid her head in June's lap. And June reached out and scratched the dog's shaggy red ears, and she said, What's her name? And the person from the Humane Society said, Her name is Scarlet. And she had an owner for many years, but her owner got sick, and so had to give Scarlet up. And June said, That's sad. She looked at her mom and dad and said, I think that Scarlet needs someone to keep her company at night, because she misses having a person. And her mother looked at her father, and her father looked at her mother, and then they both looked at June, and they said, okay. And so that very day, June adopted Scarlet and took her home. And at night, when the lights were out and it was dark, and her mother and father had gone to bed, June made sure that Scarlet was not lonely at night, and Scarlet returned the favor. And that's the end. Thanks for listening to Stories for Wonderful Children. I created today's story, but questions and clever commentary were supplied by my children. The intro and outro music is by Brandon Thompson. If you enjoy the show, please tell someone about it or leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Our email is storiesforwonderfulchildren at gmail.com, and you can also find us on Facebook or Twitter. I'm Dan Wendelin, reminding you to tell someone you love a story.